kind of find it disgusting when people do that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video telling you what's in my clinic bag. I love watching these kinds of videos on YouTube, so I figured I'd do one of my own. So if you're interested in what's in my clinical bag, keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the kind of bag that I use for clinical. This is a really big gray bag, and it is a Neiman Marcus bag. My brother used to work in Neiman Marcus and he used to get free merchandise every now and then. One of the items he got was this really cute bag, and I love to use for clinicals because it's so big, and it has like a plastic coating on the outside, so um, it's easy to wipe down. So on the outside, first off, let's get started. So on the outside, I have some Purell. It is Coconut Beach Siesta. Uh, I have tons of these that I leave on the outside of my keys or different bags that I have. This is a new one. Um, I just switched this out and it smells really nice um, so yeah good to keep hand sanitizer with you so now we're gonna look at what's inside the bag so we have this clinic bag I don't remember what I bought when I got this but I use the bag now so we have alcohol wipes definitely need these the end piece to my phone charger um, the charger is actually plugged into my laptop right now um, but I have so many of these, so they're just kind of lying around. Lens cleaning wipes. Um, my glasses get dirty a lot, so I like to keep these to clean my glasses or even my phone sometimes. More, more alcohol wipes. Can't have too many of those. And we have a plethora of chapsticks. That's strange. Um, I have Nivea. Love Nivea chapsticks. This is actually not my favorite one. Though. This is my favorite Nivea chapstick. I don't think they make these anymore, but this is my favorite one. It smells, it smells so nice and it's so moisturizing. Next that we have good old fashioned Carmex. Love this stuff. Um, it gets pretty hot where I live, so chapsticks tend to melt if I leave them in my car for too long. So um, Carmex brand is really good because even if it melts, that's okay. Love Carmex. And then we have some lotion. I picked this up at. A hotel that I stayed at um, at some point, um, you know, like the little travel size lotions and conditioners that they give you, I keep them and then I put them in my clinical bags so that my hands don't get dry because I wash my hands so much. So that's what we do here. Let's put all that back. Okay, and so in this bag I had this. And this is like my little feminine product bag where I keep extra like tampons, panty liners. Then I have some really old baby lotion. <laughs> Still works, but it's like Johnson's baby lotion. The label has wrapped off. Then I have some beauty supplies, so I look gloss that I didn't even know was in here. But I remember this because it smells really good. Yes, it smells really good. And last but not least, some mints. Mints. And that is what is in there, in addition to the feminine box that I keep in here. Okay, next to that we have an umbrella because the weather is very unpredictable where I live. So I always keep an umbrella with me so I don't get caught in the rain. Um, we have my stethoscope. This stethoscope, I don't even think this has a name brand because I was not one of those nursing students that ran out to get a Lipman when I got into nursing school. Because I didn't have $100 to spend on the stethoscope. And um, yeah. So I went on Amazon and I found this at school for like 18, 17, 18 bucks and it works great. It's plastic around here, um, it's purple, and most of all, it works. So I can hear everything I need to hear, not a problem, and it works great for me. Um, I wanted to invest in a really nice like, scope once I finish nursing school, and that's what I will do once I graduate. But this stethoscope has done me justice and I if I could go back and do it all over again, I'd buy the same one. So if you're a nursing student out there and you don't want to spend money on an expensive stethoscope, you don't have to. Um, if I can find a link to this, I'll leave this down below as well because it worked fine for me. My clinical notebooks, keep these in my pockets. Um, this is the first one I bought when I first started nursing school. As you can see, it's super flat now. It was 
just as thick as this. So I don't know if you can see how much paper I've used. Um, I usually um, rip out the sheets of paper with um, patient identifiers and I'll throw them in the confidential bin. Uh, so that's why it's so flat. But all the information in here now is just like notes, things like that that I don't want to throw away. And this is the one that I use now. Um, yeah, just random notes that I'll keep in there to help remember things. This is a drawing that I made um, when I was trying to do what an open right hemi collecting was. So, very much a visual learner. And just random things that I keep in here. So these are my clinical notebooks and these always stay in my pocket. Well, just this one. The blue one stays in my bag. Just in case I need to reference it. What's next? I have this flash bag here. I don't know what's in here. Let's see, we have more alcohol wipes. I'm a hoarder. Um, we have more lens cleaning wipes. We have mints. Just kidding, these are not mints. This is this has been repurposed to hold bobby pins. So extra bobby pins that I keep with me in a mint container. We have the uh, accessories kit for my stethoscope. So if I want to turn my stethoscope into a pediatric stethoscope or if I want to change the earbuds out, all of the equipment is in here. I've never had to use this in the entire time I've owned this stethoscope, but I keep it in there just in case. We have extra pens, extra pens. We have an extra ID badge holder, um, bandage scissors, lens cleaning cloth, a highlighter, my pen light, and a pen that is fighting with me, well, a pencil that was fighting with me to get up. That's everything that was in here. We have my clinical notebook. Um, I just keep a bunch of important documents in here, like um, some of my medical paperwork, just in case um, the charge nurse wants to make sure I'm clear to be in the hospital, that I have all my immunizations and I'm ready to go. And then I also keep the particular hospital that I am um, going to right now. I keep their policies and procedures as well as our handbook in here. So if I need to reference anything like, what does this code mean? You know, like, where do I go in case of emergency? It's in here. I like to walk around with that. It's pretty much empty now. A few more things. We have my clinical watch. Um, I love this watch. I bought this probably about a month and a half ago, and I should have bought it as soon as I started nursing school. Um, it's a skimmy, skimmy, I, I really don't know. But it's waterproof, and if you can see, it has the date, the day of the week, the time in military time, and um, down to the second. And it also has an alarm on it. It also has a really cool feature if you hit this green button on the side um, so that if you want to see the time in the darks, you can still see what the watch is saying. You know, we get there at 7 and we're getting a report in the patient's room and sometimes not all the patients want, want the lights on. So if I need to do something and I, need, and I need the time, instead of bothering a patient or taking out my phone, I could just hit this feature and I can see everything. So really love this watch and it was only like $8. I got it off of AliExpress. It took about two weeks to get here, maybe like three weeks, I'm not sure. But I will leave the link to it in the description bar below if you're interested in purchasing this too. It's a really, really good watch for clinicals. And just being a nurse in general, and it was so cheap, there's really no reason not to buy it. All right, we're almost finished here. I have my snack pouch, where I keep food when I get hungry. Two smushed cheese it bags, a granola bar from Chewy, Quaker Chewy, chocolate chip. Uh, another Quaker granola bar, s'mores, this is my favorite one, and some crackers. Love these, love these, so tasty and very filling. That's everything else in my snack pouch. And I'm gonna grab whatever's at the bottom. I have my Bluetooth headphones. Helpful when I'm walking to and from the hospital to the parking lot and jam out some finished medical tape and two scrub sites, site scrubs, scrub the hubs. So if I'm giving IV medications, I'm following all the protocol and some random gloves. 
And that is everything that's in my clinical bag. The only things that are missing are my ID badge, which I keep in my car, uh, never comes in the house, and this bad boy right here, which is Lysol. And I use this before I get into my vehicle. I wipe down my stethoscope, I wipe down my cell phone, and I wipe down my actual bag. And then I put all that in my car, and I'm good to go. As far as my shoes are, I know this has nothing to do with the bag, but I feel like I need to mention it. Um, my clinical shoes never come in the house, ever. They don't leave my vehicle. I went to Walmart and I got like one of those cute um, fabric crates and I lined it with a plastic bag. And as soon as I get to my car, I have like my house slides that I drive with. Um, I take off my clinical shoes, put on my house slides, and I take my clinical shoes and I put them in a plastic bag that is in that fabric crate. Like that is how I keep my clinical shoes. I don't know about everyone else, but there are a lot of secretions on the floor. There are a lot of secretions and there are a lot of fluids on the floor um, at the hospital and the specific unit that I work on. It's just part of the territory that comes with working in the hospital. And I don't wanna track any of that back to my family or my home. So I don't wear my clinical shoes anywhere for the hospital. I don't wear them to class. I don't wear them out on the streets. And I kind of find it disgusting when people do that. Maybe it's just because I assume other nurses are working in the same environment that I am. You know, like if you're working with kids, you may not be stepping in bowel movements or blood. I don't know. But I think it's gross. So I don't wear my clinical shoes anywhere else but the hospital. That's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hello to all my subbies. I really appreciate you guys subscribing. More than you know. Like, I didn't think this channel was going to get to this point. And, yeah. Follow me along on this journey. Even though I'm almost done with nursing school, the videos won't stop there. Alright? See you guys in the next video.